we have potential, but what we're going to work on is just being competitive and being aggressive. It's the season for some high school basketball action. In the state of Maryland, the C. Milton Wright Mustangs and Joppatown Mariners spoiled us with a thriller finish. The Mustangs are looking to go back to back as they finished off Harford Christian the night before, while the Mariners head coach, Jermaine Head Sr., wants to move up in the upper Chesapeake Bay standings. Get this, the last time the Mariners have beaten the Mustangs was back in 2013 around this time, and it so happened to occur right here in the Mustang gym. I'm Jordan Kramer and coming up I'll tell you about two Islamic basketball players who made an impact both on and off the court. Being a role model isn't always easy. On courts like this across the nation both Mahmoud and Bill Quis often dealt with public scrutiny for openly practicing their faith. On WVU News National Signing Day is a celebration for football fans across the country. I'm Jordan Kramer and coming up I'll tell you how WVU scored big with the new recruits. On February 22nd, WVU fans were seeing quadruple as four hopefuls competed to become WVU's newest Mountaineer. For West Virginia natives Ethan Ball and Troy Clemens, being the Mountaineer represents much more than just the university. When you're the Mountaineer, you carry the whole state on your shoulders. And I'm so thankful for everything that West Virginia has given to me, so I just want to be the one who represents uh, this great place. I think this is a great state and they deserve a representative who's going to put their passion and pride out on the court and 
out into the community as much as they can and in the best way that they can. The four finalists were selected based on an application, essay, and interview, and selected by a committee of faculty, staff, and students. The winner of this competition will be named the 64th Mountaineer in WVU history. Amongst their responsibilities are to attend every home game for each team and rile up crowds just like this one. And while being the Mountaineer certainly is a big responsibility, finalists Savannah Lusk and Aaron Cox are ready for the task. You, you get the opportunity to represent the passion and the tenacity and the love that resides here in this state. I've never wanted something as bad as this and uh, I've worked so hard to get here uh, and I'm just going to keep on trying every year. The winner will be announced March 2nd during the WVU men's basketball game versus Texas Tech. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Jordan Kramer. Thank you, Nate. After three weeks on the road, West Virginia University women's volleyball team welcomes in Marshall Thunder and Heard for their home opener. Marshall looks on to take on West Virginia and Morgantown for the Battle of the Golden Ball Trophy. In the first set, Marshall had 11 kills and took advantage of eight WVU miscues, as you see there to win the first set. Let's go to set two. Morgan Montgomery for West Virginia gets a nice setup from her server, Brittany Sample, to get the easy kill as the Mountaineers tie up this matchup one to one. Third set, Montgomery continuing her stellar performance as Samples find her once again for the kill point. Let's check that out one more time. You see middle blocker Hannah Sharia goes up as a decoy and then here comes Montgomery sending it back to Marshall's side like a bad Christmas gift. But here comes the herd as Marshall took two of the last three points to finish the set and take a two to one commanding lead. Now let's go to the fourth. Mountaineers fans are trying to help their beloved team get going as they enter a possible elimination if they don't win. Marshall used a six to none run midway and later took five in a row to put the score 22 to 18. West Virginia desperately needs to get going. Where samples when you need her? There she is and she spikes it down to get this crowd amped up. And then Montgomery notched three in a row to force a fifth set. West Virginia carried the momentum forward as they could not be denied by the herd as Khalil Wells get that one through Marshall's defense. Haley Rowe put the icing on the cake where West Virginia outlasts Marshall 15 to 9 to win the golden ball. Here's Montgomery on tonight's win. I mean we always want the golden ball like as I'm assuming at the end you guys saw the golden ball is like the huge thing. We've talked about it for weeks now getting the golden ball back every year you want the golden ball to stay at WU. So I think having Marshall be our interstate rival, like it's always a great feeling to beat them. For the first time in six years, Mountaineer signing day was relatively drama free, due in big part to the players already on the team. When we bring all these guys here, uh, our players play a big role in, in, in helping recruit these guys. And help they did as West Virginia football got several top junior college recruits, as well as two of ESPN's top 300. The Mountaineer signed a total of 27 new players, including nine who are already enrolled at WVU. But don't expect Holgerson to say who he thinks will be amongst the best next season. You get, you get the questions, Coach. Who's your, your top two guys? You know, I, I, that's just so hard to answer because you're, you're going to probably set the kid up for failure because you're going to be wrong. While Holgerson might not be picking favorites, that doesn't stop fans from stating who they're excited to see out on the gridiron. I'm pretty pumped to see Kaiser White. Uh, Kevin White's my favorite, but I think Kaiser is the youngest and he'll be one of the best. Steven Smothers because he's from Maryland. I played against him in high school and yeah, he was a dog when I played against him, so I hope he does good here. Uh, I was really excited to see that they um, recruited Kevin and Karan's little brother. As excited as they are, Mountaineer fans will have to wait until September 3rd to see most of the new recruits in action.